It's the first day of the competition from in and around Hull. Home to life's toughest takeaway question. Is it cod or haddock? The king of fish and chips is definitely cod. So the king of fish and chips for me is haddock. Haddock or cod, it's always haddock. I don't like fish and chips. Oh, there's always one. And hoping there's nothing fishy about his night, his first host, drinks brand ambassador Dan. Basically built a career in the nightlife industry, having a good time. Former nightclub manager turned vodka superstar. And where did you learn your trade? I had a beach club in Greece. And people think I look Greek, but no, I'm not, I'm not Greek. I've got no Greek in me. Well, he might not be Greek, but his menu is worthy of Aristotle himself. I'm going for a traditional kind of authentic Greek taste. I'm gonna bring the, 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 the taste of Greece to whole. I'm very confident that I can win this, you know, and the reason being is because everything that I touch turns to gold, okay? Starter, baked feta with a Greek salad. All Greek to me, but baked feta, Greek salad, pretty easy. No, oh, someone's going the extra mile for tonight. Oh, Tash, be gentle with me. Meet business development manager Tony. Oh, Tash! Tash, for goodness sake! I like my back waxing. It's it's um, it, it keeps all, it keeps everything at bay. Ah! And again, I quite like pain when I'm having my back waxed. It's sort of like a bit of a bit of a something I get out there, you know. Ah! People do think I'm the life and soul of the party. Be, be, be classed as a bit annoying, ah! but I can cope with that. Ah! Oh, ah! Yeah, you can't go to Greece without having some feta. It's good. Love baked feta, love a Greek salad. Um, pretty easy to make. Shove it, just shove it in the oven. Completing the lineup is dog walking entrepreneur Jordana. <laughs> I'm not a typical 22 year old guy and stuff. I stay at home, do my accounts, stroke all my dogs. Some people would probably call me boring. The boys! I think I'd probably say <laughs> doing a spreadsheet is more fun for me than dancing on a podium. Don't knock it till you've tried it. The baked feta, Dan adds tomato and green peppers. A little drizzle of Greek oil. That's how we do. And a final sprinkle of dried oregano. He'll bake just prior to serving. Next, the classic Greek salad. So when someone reads the menu, they're going to see it says salad, and they're probably going to criticise, saying it's pretty simple. Very easy. But there's quite a lot of chopping that goes into this, you know. You know, chopping up all these different veg in that. Yeah, I'm still just chopping, though. And salads, salad's pretty peak right now. Everybody's eating salads. Dan knocks up a quick dressing of olive oil, vinegar and... Now, the secret ingredient, which not many people would put in a salad, I believe, is honey. Groundbreaking. Finally, more oregano. Now, the key to this is how you stir it. You don't just go wild. Just be gentle. There. Perfect. It's the first night of Come Dine With Me from in and around Hull. Cheers. 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 Yeah. Yamas. And the turn of drinks brand ambassador Dan to host with a night of Greek classics that he hopes will win him the thousand pound prize. As his guests relax, Dan cracks on with his salad starter. There's high spirits already, so the food's... I'm going to win them over with that, I think. Feta parcels baked. How's it look? I think the feta looks all right. It's, uh... Yeah, it's all right. Oh, that's all right, then. Baked feta with tzatziki, and his Greek salad is already on the table. Let's go. Ladies first. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Help yourself to salad. Put salad on your plate. Help yourself to pita. Did you um, make your own bread? The, oh, the, only <laughs> thing, the, only, the only thing, <laughs> I seasoned the bread. I didn't make Jump. the bread myself. Oh. I just thought it was going to be a ball of this. I oh, when you? I read the I menu, did. I thought it was going to be. So you... I thought you were being a bit lazy, actually. Oh, OK, again. OK. <laughs> I've had this before, I must admit, but it wasn't as nice as this. Oh, OK, OK. Is that because Dan made it? Dan, you're the man, it's great. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> well, it's good to hear. <laughs> very, very delicious. Oh, yeah. It might be a small little fan club already. <laughs> I thought the starter was a lazy option, and then I tried it, and you know what? Sack what I thought originally, because it was decent. I enjoyed it. Baked feta. 
Good. Greek salad. Good. Bread. Not homemade. Two out of three ain't bad. The reason I've gone for a, a Greek menu is because I lived in Greece for years. Oh. Um, so you're not Greek? No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not Greek at all. <laughs> oh. I'm a fake Greek. Fake Greek. Not even Greek. Oh, Tony. Damn, Dan. It's a good job he's giving us a good starter. I was going to say, for a... Because we were expecting a Greek god. Yeah. <laughs> and well, now we've just found you're not well, one. He's a Greek god, but he's yeah. not Greek. He could still be a oh, Greek god in our house. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, I was quite disappointed that he wasn't Greek, cos I was quite looking forward to meeting some sort of, like, Mediterranean, exotic, sexy man. But unfortunately, he's just from Hull. It's a Greek tragedy! See, the thing is, although I'm not Greek, I'm sure Tony would still have a little cuddle with me, for sure. <laughs> me and Jane were having a competition. I'd lost. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I broke their hearts. I spent uh, a lot of years in the kind of the, the, the party resorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I've, basically I've run bars and I've run clubs and uh, oh, wow. done a lot of promo work and things like that, so... Uh... Mm -hmm. I wonder where I knew you from. <laughs> <laughs> That's never good. Well, actually, you might know me cos I work in one of the busiest florists in Hull and maybe I've saved you. Mm, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't buy a lot of flowers. I'm Hull's number one florist. florist. OK, OK. Yeah, so maybe you should start coming to me. OK. I'll mm. sort you out. Did you get a discount? No. No. I won't come in then. <laughs> I did sit round the table with Hull's number one florist, although I've never heard of her before. Yeah, I don't think they realised that there was with um, Hull's number one florist. I think they're quite in awe of me, to be fair. I didn't recognise her, to be fair. Um, I mean, I don't buy a lot of flowers, so... You must have been given flowers. Um, I do get given flowers, but obviously none from Hull's number one florist. <laughs> I'm a business development and partnerships manager for a well-known hotel company. Mm. What about you, Matt? What do you do? Um, I am a PR manager and a freelance writer. Mm. Matt seems like a really nice guy. I think he was a bit quiet, but I think it's quite hard to kind of say your piece when Joan and Tony are sat opposite you. Love Tony. I'm a bit of a gay icon in Hull, so um, me and Tony get on so well. I feel like um, I've known him all my life. I don't think I could have done any better with the feta. Get her. Move on. <laughs>